Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Over the past few days, a number of generation ships have been discovered and what we're going to do in this video is take a look at how to go out and actually discover these for yourself. Now, generation ships are very, very large vessels. Not too different in principle to mega ships, although generation ships are something very specific. In terms of the game's lore, the first generation ship was launched in 2097. Now, these ships do not have faster than light technology, which meant they had to effectively slow boat their way out to their destination. And that meant that between the time they were launched and the current time period, they couldn't have traveled much further than 150 light years away from Seoul. By the technology standards of 3303, that might not seem very far, but according to the data posted by a Commander Proto Engine on the official forums, it still means that even with this relatively low radius around Seoul, there are still well over 8,000 systems that would need to be explored. For the purposes of this video, we're going to take a look at the most recently discovered generation ship, and that is the Venusian. This was discovered by Commander Clumposite. So the way to find one of these isn't just to look for the massive ship itself, it's actually to look first for a listening post. Now when you first jump into a star system, you can look at your nav panel, and if you're in the correct type of system, you'll see a listening post listed right there in the list of locations. And if there's not one listed, it simply means there isn't one present in this star system, so you can jump to the next one to have a look there. So, with probably close to 10,000 systems to explore in this manner to look for the various listening posts, it could take quite a while, but with the relatively large player base, I'm sure they will get together and we'll probably be having a new generation ships discovered every few days or so. Of course, that does depend upon just how many Frontier have put into the game, but according to law, between 2097 when the first one was launched and the year 2700, around 70,000 in total of these massive vessels were launched. Now here we are in this system and straight away you can see there's a listening post in the nav panel there listed as a location. So you can simply target that and fly straight towards it. With a total of 70,000 ships according to law, it does mean that there could be a huge number of discoveries yet to be made. Of course, many generation ships did make it to their destination, but a huge number didn't. And these are collectively known as the missing, along with many other expeditions that didn't make it out to their destination, including the recent megaship found out in the former Dine Rift, which itself was not a generation ship, but rather something else. Now here we have one of the listening posts. Now, as far as I'm aware, these were not in the game before now, although I may be mistaken on that, but what you need to do when you're near it, you simply select it and your ship will scan it. You can see that happening down on the bottom left there of the HUD. And once the scan is complete, you will receive a message and you can then take a read of that message. And let's have a look at what this one says. Now, invariably, the messages are usually corrupt in one way or another. That means you don't get a complete message, so you won't get an exact location of what you're looking for. But you should be able to figure it out from the details that are here. So let's have a bit of a read. So, we have a transponder signal, VEN393A, that has been detected, and the timestamp predates parameters, so that means it's likely to be hundreds, maybe even anything up to a thousand years old. After that, the true message begins, and the two words that we want to lift from there, the important ones, are Kite and Zaphus. Now, these are both system names, so we can go straight to the galaxy map here, and we're going to put the first system name in, and that's Kite. And we can see that's actually relatively close to our current destination, just 87 light years away, and it puts it within the certain radius of Seoul. So far then, there's only been the two discovered generation ships, but both of them have been located from similar messages. In both cases, the messages feature two system names, so it would seem likely that all the rest, assuming there are others, will follow the same principle. So what we do is, like I say, go to the first system, and once there, we can then plot in a course for the second system. In this case, that system is Zephyrus. Now, the generation ship wouldn't have had hyperspace technology, so there would have been no way they could have jumped straight to that system. But what it would appear that they were actually trying to do is slow boat it towards that destination. So, theoretically, they should be situated somewhere between our current location and the Zephyrus over there, 15.4 light years away. So, the task now is to simply fly directly towards that location. And you can see there, there's nothing in the locations uh, list on the nav panel. But what I'm going to do here is accelerate up the speed of the 
uh, game, uh, play the footage back around about 400% and sooner or later, assuming there is one here, we will see a generation ship make an appearance in the location list here. And there we go. So the next step is obvious then, you simply jump on in at the generation ship location. Now I'm not going to play any footage from around the generation ship on this particular occasion. If you do want to see that you can head there yourself, it's relatively close by, hopefully and you're not too far away. But what I will do is play back the data logs that I captured there, which are once again wonderfully voice acted. If you don't want to hear them, then you can by all means end the video now, and otherwise you can carry on and watch. Either way, I'm going to be heading off now, and I will leave you to it. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time. This is Officer Gant. I know I haven't made many of these logs. I haven't needed to, but recent events mean I have to open a record. The Venusian has been travelling for months now without incident, other than the usual canteen disputes and a couple of bar fights. Recently, though, sensors have picked up a number of heat signals, though no sign of any actual ships. That is, until today. Two small ships of unknown designation were briefly caught on sensors until they initiated supercruise and disappeared. We don't know where they've come from or where they've gone, and attempts to hail them were met with silence. The XO Deacon thinks it's nothing to worry about, but I've got to admit I'm nervous. Anyway, we're keeping an eye out and the comms team are on high alert. Maybe it's nothing. They came out of a gas nebula. A pirate fleet, all manner of ships, and some of them were highly modified. Every single one was red, though. Blood red. Our auto defences were useless, and the raiders breached the hull with mining lasers. By the time they got inside, I'd managed to rustle up a decent defence force, but we couldn't stop them spreading through the decks. The fighting was fierce at first, and we put up a good resistance, but when the best of our crew were cut down, there was nothing the rest of us could do. All I could do was initiate a rearguard action while we tried to save as many people as we could. Deacon managed to rally some troops, and we pushed them back long enough to retreat to aft. Not sure how much longer we're gonna last. You can keep talking about a parlay, but these, these are pirates on a slave hunt. They won't stop until we're all dead or in chains. Frankly, I take death over slavery any day. I'm down to my last dozen men and about the same in cells for my carbine. Around a hundred civilians relying on us, and we'll fight till the last man to defend them. Deacon's disappeared. Either fled or captured, I don't know which. I can only hope he'd managed to escape somehow and has gone to get help from somewhere. Anywhere. I don't know, I'm kidding myself. We're done. For. It's just a matter of time before they breach our defenses. No matter. Fight till the last. They won't take me alive. Our barricade's been breached! We're under heavy fire, it won't be long! Deacon! Oh, it was Deacon who did this! He showed the pirates how to breach our defences, gave them access to the main tunnels. They'd never have found them without Deacon's help. If I can manage to return fire long enough, maybe I can get a bead on deep. Just one shot is 